Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can use some very simple custom CSS to add a search bar above the header of your Squarespace website. This is a feature that many of us wish Squarespace had built right into the program, but unfortunately we have to create it ourselves. However, we only need just a little bit of custom CSS to make this magic happen on both the desktop and the mobile version of our Squarespace website. What we're going to do is actually create a footer section that contains the search bar, and then we'll use CSS to move that section above the header so it shows up on every single page on our website. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share with you are listed in the description below, but as I'm sure you can imagine, there are a few important steps to this tutorial that I'd love to show you how to do in my own demo website. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and teach you how to set this up step by super simple step. Let's get started. So here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention really quickly, this is specific for version 7.1 and won't work in older versions of Squarespace. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a footer section that contains a search bar. We're going to adjust the search bar location and alignment on both desktop and mobile. Then we're going to paste this code into custom CSS and adjust this value right here to make sure it will match the size of the font for our specific search bar on the specific website you'll definitely want to change that value for your own site. All right, so let's start with step number one. We'll hop into edit mode, scroll down to the bottom of my website and select edit footer. The very first section here is going to be where we add the search bar. We'll just add a blank section. And again, we want this to be at the very top. Now, personal preference, I'm going to select edit section. We're going to toggle off fill screen. Then we're going to add the search bar. There we go. And now I'm going to pull this up here. And now what I actually want is to have this search bar just over on the left hand side of the page, or actually let's push it over here to the right. And we'll go ahead and add a text block. And this block will say, search the blog. You can say website, blog, whatever you want to. That's what I'm going with. All right, let's go ahead and center this text vertically. We'll move it up here. And we can reduce the size of that a little bit. And I'll go ahead and align this to the right because we're going to have the edge of this flush with the edge of this search bar. Now, notice the bottom of the search bar isn't aligned with the bottom of the content block. We should center that vertically, too. There we go. All right. Now, let's pull this up and we'll go ahead and give it one more space on the top here because I want this to be centered vertically. This is just my personal preference. Style this however you see fit, because that's what's going to show up at the top of the website. Now let's go ahead and edit the mobile view while we're here. We'll select mobile view. And if we scroll down, I don't need it to be that big. We'll reduce the size there. We'll go ahead and center this vertically. There we go. Scoot that on over, scoot this on over, move this one up. And you know what? We can do one more to the side for each. We'll pull that over there and we'll increase the size of that search block. So it's just at the edge. There we go. Now let's go ahead and pull this up. I think maybe one more space down. Again, we need to center vertically. Sorry if I'm clicking a little too fast for you. I'll recap that really quick. Here, we took the search block and we changed the size of it. We made it span three rows. I'm gonna press G on my keyboard so you can see the three rows. And then we centered it vertically. Did the same thing for our text. That's all we changed was the size, the location, and then how it's aligned vertically. Going back to desktop, Nothing has changed here in the desktop view because we edited mobile separately using Fluid Engine. All right, that's all we needed to do to create that section. We'll select exit and save. There we go. Now we're on to the fun part, the custom CSS. I'm going to scroll down and grab this code, which is listed in the description below. And remember, we're going to want to change part of it. So I'm going to copy this code and we'll scroll up to the top, navigate to design and select custom CSS. This is where we'll paste the code. I'm gonna remove the code from last week's tutorial. There we go. <laughs> if we scroll down, I'll paste the code right here and zoom in for you. Already we can see some magic happen. Let's select save. And here we're going to adjust this alignment. Notice our search bar is being cut off a little bit. Let's change that to five REM. There we go. Now we can see the search bar at the very top of the page. Pretty awesome, right? Let's check out mobile. And if we scroll up, there it is at the very top of the page above the site header. This will be on every single page on our website. We'll have the ability to put the search at the very top. Now, I do want to mention I said search the blog, not the website. 
I have a blog on my website, so that's always top of mind for me. But if you want to search just an individual section of your site instead of the whole thing, that's a search block setting. We'll go ahead and save this. We'll hop into edit mode and I'll show you how to make changes to that feature now that's at the very top. This might seem a little counterintuitive, but stick with me here. We scroll down to the bottom and select edit footer and then scroll back up to the top. Now we can edit this footer section that we created. So if you click on the search bar and select this option right here, this is where we can say search specific page. And I can ask it to search just a blog or just a store, something super specific. Otherwise, toggle that off. And sometimes this happens. Sometimes the design gets a little adjusted. So feel free to make changes there so it still looks amazingly sized for your specific website design. All right, we'll go ahead and select save and we'll call this tutorial good to go. All the codes that we just used together are listed in the description below. Just make sure that you modify them so they match the font style on your own Squarespace website and that code becomes uniquely yours. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. Now available in a Notion database, you can have access to all of the custom codes that I use for modifying Squarespace websites. In here, you'll find selectors, pre-made style snippets, and a bunch of pro tips. So even if you're brand new to all things CSS, you're going to love the content you'll find here. To get lifetime access to this Notion database of custom code for Squarespace, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.